guys, Kat here with Standing Stone Kennels, and we're back with another pup date for the Breezy and Walker litter. These guys are 11 days old, so just over a week and a half, and we have been doing daily weights on these guys to monitor their weight gain. Um, usually I only do that through about one week because everybody's gaining really well. Well, these guys, it's a big litter. There's 10 puppies. Breezy is doing her best to keep up with them, but she is not able to keep up with their weight gain as much as I would like. So we've actually been monitoring their weight every day now um, for these last 11 days, and they are needing supplementation multiple times a day. We've got one little guy named Zephyr. He's actually about the half the size of the rest of the puppies. And he is actually getting supplemented every three, maybe every four hours. Uh, we're getting up three times a night to supplement him. So definitely when you're doing a litter of puppies, there is the chance that you're gonna have a lot of work ahead of you. Luckily, I've got a great partner, Ethan, who's able to help get up every other time in the middle of the night so that we can get him fed. And during the day, we also have a really great team to help divide that workload of supplementing these puppies because as you're going to see, this process can take a long time. So we are going to um, get started with showing you a couple things. <laughs> Look, can you see? This little guy's upside down. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna show you just a couple things. Look at the coloration change on these puppies. They're getting a lot darker, which is part of the process. Um, they are all born with just patches and then they look completely white. And then as they get older, that coloration continues to darken um, and you can kind of brush their hair backwards and see how dark they're gonna be underneath. So some of these puppies are gonna be very heavily ticked, potentially even roan. Um, but let me just grab this big guy. Now you can see on his tummy, he's got a little bit of pink. So those pink spots, are actually going to be ticking um, where there's no ticking actually. So he'll have some ticking and then some um, white spots still on him. So this is this is Cyclone, uh, one of the male puppies in the litter. He is um, he looks big, he looks healthy, but he's actually also struggling to gain weight. So all of the puppies are getting supplemented three times a day, except for little man Zephyr, who's getting like I said supplemented every three hours approximately. Um, he says, "You picked me up, and I am ready to eat." Eat. So another thing, we check their dew cloth spots. Those are healing up really nicely. Their tails have all fallen off and are also healing up very nicely. Uh, and we're still doing biosensor training with all of these guys once a day until they're 16 days old. So without further ado, I'm gonna grab a bottle, which I'm just using a baby bottle. Um, I like them better than the puppy specific bottles for supplementation. Um, I feel like my puppies get a better latch and um, the process goes pretty smoothly. So I'm just gonna show you, I kind of open their mouth, doesn't take much, put that bottle in and they're gonna wiggle around a little bit until they get a nice latch. I don't know if you can see or hear that, but you can hear him latched on and I'm just gonna let him get good and full. Um, once he's done eating, I'm gonna switch to the next puppy and so on. Ethan's actually gonna help me with this process because like I said, it does take a while. Each puppy probably nurses for 15 to 30 minutes when we're supplementing. So when you've got 10 puppies, if you wanna do the math, that can take quite a while. So we're gonna supplement puppies and you can watch that process. But I'm 
bum. Shake, shake. Shake it up. Got one little puppy left. I'm gonna grab Twist. She didn't want to eat earlier, so I'm gonna try her again. Sometimes you have to be a little more coaxing, a little more encouraging, especially if the puppies are super sleepy to start out with. They're like, meh, I'm just napping. So if I can express a little bit of milk onto that nipple by just pressing it and then putting that in their mouth so they get a little taste and go, oh wait, there's food here? Well, maybe I could eat. That's what we did with Tornado and he woke up enough and he had um, ate really good. So we're gonna just try and keep coaxing Twist to finish up a little bit more. Come on, Twister. Come on. Because I'm so sleepy. Um, and if I can't ultimately get her to supplement, that will be okay. And we'll just hit her up next time. Try and catch her when she's a little more awake. Big yawn. Uh, but I don't think I mentioned we use Espelac Puppy Milk Replacer. Uh, we're mixing that one part of powder to two parts of warm water. Uh, making sure that it isn't overly hot. We test it on our wrist. Um, supposed to be just warm. And then, uh, like I said, all of these guys ate really well. They're probably eating anywhere from one to two ounces, depending on size of the puppy and how much they have recently nursed with mama. So once I try and get a little twist here, twister a little more, opportunity then we'll get mama breezy back in here where she can come in lick some puppies and maybe do a little more nursing herself there she says oh 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 there it is maybe this is some good stuff but being patient and just giving the puppy time to accept the new nipple because definitely it feels different than mama and the formula probably tastes just a little bit different as well but giving them an opportunity to say yeah yeah maybe i could eat so I'm gonna finish up feeding Twister, then get Breezy back in here. But thanks for watching our puppy update with the Breezy Walker litter. We'll be back with another video soon. Make sure you're subscribing so you don't miss that. Um, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.